the government of Kericho, it has therefore become untenable for the governor to continue being in office. Uh, the governor has variously committed constitutional wrongs that subvert the structure of the county government, uh, the structure of the government, and undermine the integrity of the office and even the constitution itself. The significant effects of the conduct that is undermining the integrity of the office, disregard of the uh, constitutional duties and oath of office, arrogation of powers and abuse of the government process has had an adverse impact on the running and the administration of Kericho County government. Based on the following, on the foregoing, I give the direction that the two thirds of the membership of this house required to pass the motion for impeachment of his excellency the governor is 31 members. <laughs> My position is further, further by the fact that we have customarily and by practice since the inception of uh, count evolution taken one third of the members of this assembly house to be 16 meaning the balance of the members being two-thirds is equivalent to that one. For the members of this house, I have pronounced myself on that matter. And therefore, uh, declares that the motion seeking the removal of impeachment from office from office uh, of the governor for Kericho County Honorable Dr. Eric Kekwe Mutai by impeachment has been supported by two thirds of the members of the county assembly of Kericho. Therefore, declare that the motion is passed and the governor, Dr. Eric Kukoy Motai, stands in peace. By the under Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33 of the County Government Act, and Standing Order Number 74, Creature County Assembly Standing Orders. The grounds as moved in the special motion by Honorable Kiprotich Rogon, citing a gross violation of the constitution and other laws, b abuse of office, and three gross and misconduct as table uh, before this house. Who would as many as are of that similar opinion say aye? Only as many as are of our contrary opinion say nay, and there is habit. The order, order of this uh, uh, motion will be as many as are of our civil opinion say aye, will as many as are of our contrary opinion say nay, and there is habit. Uh, a court order of which I must state it here and let it be on record that. As a speaker, the alleged court, court order is not before me, and I did not uh, receive it. Uh, thirdly, I want to extend a word of appreciation to the Honorable MCS for the courtesy of uh, allowing us in here. And uh, I would also like to say that if I say anything in the defense of His Excellency, it is specifically and solely out of my instructions, or other our instructions, to defend His Excellency. It has nothing to do with the respect we have for you. And may I just emphasize that we have the highest possible respect for you as MCS and as uh, the Speaker. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, when you introduced the issue, you put the issue of whether the Speaker will be in attendance uh, and whether he's forgoing his option to represent himself. Uh, sorry, that's the government. Um, 
Sorry, Governor, Sir Governor and uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, I confirmed that the Governor was on his way here and would have arrived by now, but when he was on his way, he was uh, given notice that there was an order stopping the proceedings, uh, these proceedings. And in the face of the existence of that order, he went back. However, he still in line with the point that he's not forgoing his right to defend himself. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, you have already adverted to the fact that we filed his statement and defense and his documents uh, dated 30 September 2024. It is our position, therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, that uh, in the face of the order, uh, this proceeding should be holded. Uh, the councils that appeared before the House, Mr. Speaker, led by Katoki and Mr. Speaker, they came here knowing, Mr. Speaker, uh, that they are coming to defend His Excellency the Governor, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I'm very sure that they came here knowing that there is no order, Mr. Speaker, that on the way, Mr. Speaker, they wanted to produce the same, Mr. Speaker. You know the law? Once the session started, Mr. Speaker, there is no way, this is a special motion, there is no way we could terminate this, Mr. Speaker, and I beg that we proceed with the same, Mr. Speaker, and the its conclusion, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to bring to your attention of members that when we receive the report from Kodoro Obadi, it says that Kabiaga tea farm that has that is four over four hundred acres of tea. As we speak, Mr. Speaker, the money that we are supposed to be receiving as a county was not even reported. So definitely zero returns. So Mr. Speaker, it is very serious. How can the four hundred acres of tea not even produce even a sheep? Which one are we? Mr. Speaker, we have tea. I have two acres of tea in my home. And I get no a lot of money. How can a four hundred acres of tea of uh, tea not even give us even a line item? Mr. Speaker. So Mr. Speaker, a money that was meant for the victim is being misappropriated, Mr. Speaker. Then when the whistle blow, Mr. Speaker, who happens to be the deputy governor, Mr. Speaker, blow the whistle with the FC, Mr. Speaker, a committee was formed. We went to the bottom of that matter, Mr. Speaker. Then the county executive used now the public funds. I mean, you know, use the money that was in emergency fund to pay for some of the victims, Mr. Speaker. What that is, Mr. Speaker, is new money to our county government, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, this is very wrong. Our women are suffering in this territorial county because someone is wandering and uh, really taking our revenue to other uh, businesses which does not touch the lives of these uh, women and men of the Richard County. Mr. Speaker, sir, this is so bad. And I must stand with this motion and support the removal of the governor of the Richard County. Mr. Speaker, sir. Ah, we